Alright, hello and welcome to part three of my Dwarf Fortress Let's Play series of videos. I'm Sippy Cup, and I hope you're learning a lot so far. So, where are we now? Um, on the previous, the end of the previous video, you should have chosen plan for the journey carefully, and that is going to take you, or prepare for the journey carefully, and uh, that's going to take you to this screen. Here, you're going to be distributing points, uh, which you see down here, um, to increase the skills of your dwarves as well as purchase items. Um, which they'll start out with, you know, food and uh, supplies and things like that. So, you know, there's not really one right way to assign skills to your dwarves. Um, I've kind of found that uh, the way that I'm about to do it is probably, you know, pretty well-rounded and for a beginner um, should, you know, give you a good experience. And you're obviously welcome to experiment and try to find more ideal setups, but anyway, here we go. So, uh, there's kind of two areas here on the dwarf screen. You got your dwarves here. Their names are randomly generated. If you want to name them after your friends or whatever, you can do that later. Um, and uh, this is their occupation. They all basically start out as peasants. And then over on this side is where you assign skill points. So you use you, your uh, left and right directional keys on your keyboard to um, basically move between selecting the peasant and then moving over to you know this side where you actually assign the skills. Uh, if we press tab, it will take us to the item screen um, where we will see you know where we can choose what kind of stuff we start with. So um, let's press tab and start with these guys. So try to follow along here. First thing I'm gonna do for the first guy is I'm gonna make him into a miner. Dwarves love to live underground, and you get underground by digging. So I'm going to use I'm going to you know, select this guy, I'm going to press right to get to the skill section, and then I'm going to use plus and minus, as you can see down here, uh, to add skill points to this guy. So something I want to mention is that this number here is not the level of this skill. What it actually represents is the number of points it costs to increase it. You'll notice if I increase it by one, one point, um, he has now spent one of his ten uh, you know, available levels, so he has now nine remaining levels of skills over here, um, but it costs six points to increase it further. You'll notice if I take him up to the next level, you know, level two minor, an adequate minor, it will now cost seven points to increase it to the next level. The highest that you can uh, take skills up to in, at this point in the game is just five levels. So, you know, if I press plus here, I'll get him to proficient minor. Um, you'd see that it would take 10 points to increase it to the next level if I could. Um, once once you're in the game proper, they'll gain experience just by doing whatever task it is you you know make them do. So miners get experience from digging, you know, carpenters get experience from making things out of wood, etc. So you see that I still have five levels here that I could put into something. I'm not going to worry about that since I really only want my miners to worry about mining. So I'm going to press left now to move back over to the dwarf selection. So you can see I can you know, use up and down to switch between my dwarves here. Um, I'm going to go down to the next guy here and I'm going to make him also a proficient miner. The next guy down I'm going to make into a woodcutter. I'm going to max out his woodcutting skill. Um, I'm also going to make him, I think, a mechanic. Uh, mechanics, what they do is uh, they're essential for building traps and uh, you know certain other buildings that involve mechanisms and gears and levers and whatnot. Uh, they're very important to have. Uh, you know, it takes a while to build up a military in this game, but traps are so powerful that um, having a mechanic at the beginning of the game instead of waiting for migrants to come with a mechanic skill later on is really going to give you a big advantage. So I'll go ahead and make him a proficient mechanic in addition to being a woodcutter. Uh, next I'm going to make a guy that is just a carpenter. So I'll make that guy a proficient carpenter. Uh, next guy is going to be a, a mason. Masons build things out of stone. I'm going to make him a proficient mason. Um, I'm also going to make him a building designer. Uh, this is also referred to sometimes as architecture skill, and this is needed to build certain certain buildings. Um, 
it can be really annoying having to wait for a migrant to show up to your fortress that has this skill because it can take sometimes in-game years uh, which can be really annoying when you're trying to build say a trade depot which you need to trade with other civilizations so go ahead and give them you know, a couple points in this notice that our points are starting to get low here I'm probably gonna have to uh, reduce some of the items that we start with to free up points um, so in fact I'll just go ahead and do that now uh, the next two guys I'm gonna make a farmer and kind of like a an expedition leader slash doctor so but first let's uh, press tab you see here tab will take you to the item screen so here you see you start out with um, picks uh, this is the name of the item this number represents the number that you uh, have started with that you've chosen and then this number indicates the number of points that it's worth I do need two picks since I have two miners if I had only one they'd have to fight over picks that's no good uh, battle axes here I only need one of these since I only have one woodcutter and you pretty much only use battle axes to cut wood well also to cut enemies but uh, that's sort of beside the point uh, we'll go ahead and reduce this that's gonna free up 68 points sweet so you see our points are starting to go up down here um, you see that anvils cost a lot um, you might be tempted to not start with an anvil that's probably a bad idea um, anvils are pretty useful and they're rather rather difficult to make so let's go ahead and keep that um, let's keep scrolling down some of these things you can reduce like you don't need five thread I'm gonna go ahead and take only three thread to start with um, only three cloth start with three bags um, three three ropes is fine. Ropes are pretty useful. Quivers, I probably only need like two of those. Um, buckets, I'll take two buckets, two splints, and two crutches. Now you see I have a lot more points. I have 249. I think I just freed up 200 points. I'm going to press tab to go back to dwarves now. Alright, and uh, now, so I'm on uh, the guy that I was going to make a farmer. So I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to go down. You see this actually is multiple pages. If I keep going down, it's going to take me to the next page. Um, there is no farming skill. Uh, what you would refer to as a farmer is actually called by the game a grower. So I'm going to make this guy a proficient grower. I'm also going to make him a brewer. Um, brewers are used to produce alcohol. Dwarves will drink water, but they hate it. They would much rather drink booze, and who wouldn't? So we'll make him a brewer. I'm only going to take him up to like four points in this, or four levels rather. I'm going to put one point in Herbalist. Having an Herbalist will uh, let you gather berries and seeds and stuff from plants that are on the map already. So it's pretty useful. The last guy I'm going to make into my Expedition Leader slash Doctor. Uh, and then I'll probably go back and choose some more items to start with. So I'm going to go down a couple pages here. Keep going, keep going. You see some of these skills are combat related, you know not too important since you can use training to increase these skills later but uh, what I'm looking for is this skill appraiser I'm only gonna put you know one point in appraiser appraiser is uh, basically what you use to uh, conduct trade trade is really important for getting things that you can't produce on your own uh, or are very expensive to produce on your own so having an appraiser is great I'm gonna put one point in record keeper this is going to let me keep more accurate um, you know, records of how much of everything I have. Um, I'm going to make him have one point in leader, which should make him the expedition leader by default. Um, I'm going to go back up, and I'm also going to make him kind of my uh, acting doctor. So in order to uh, make him sort of the doctor, I need to give him a few of these medical-related skills. So I'm going to give him one point in wound dresser, one in diagnostician, one in surgeon, one in bone doctor, one in suturer. I still have a couple points left, so let's put one more in uh, wound dresser and maybe one more in diagnostician. And that should do it. Uh, now you see I still have 131 points to start with, so I'm going to quickly press tab and get some animals to start with. Uh, these little symbols indicate gender. Uh, the thing looks like a bag. Um, I believe that is a male, and the thing that looks like an amulet, I believe that is a female. So if you start with uh, you know males and females, uh, they can potentially breed and give you some other stuff. I'm running out of time here, but I'm going to grab probably a couple, couple of war dogs and uh, maybe some cats, and uh, that should do it, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.